Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Our next guest is with an innovative medical device company that for many years helps simplify life for people with diabetes. The chief commercial officer with a company called Insulet Corporation is Brett Christensen. Brett, welcome Into Tomorrow. How are you doing, sir? Good. Thanks, Dave. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you. And full disclosure, I've talked about it on the air a lot over the years. Uh, I have been an Omnipod user or podder, as you guys like to call us, uh, for many years. In fact, here we go. I'm showing the radio oh, audience it. and the video <laughs> that there's my Omnipod. And on this side, here's my Dexcom continuous glucose monitor. So I know firsthand the benefits uh, of this kind of technology being able to help so many people. But for those not familiar, and again, I remind our audience, be sure and visit us at intotomorrow.com, especially if you're listening right now on the radio, have no fear. You can come and see Brett's interview and the devices we're talking about at intotomorrow.com. But again, for those maybe not familiar, what does it mean to have insulin dependent diabetes? And then how does your product improve a person's life such as mine? Okay, sure, Dave. Um, well, as you know, you know, to have insulin dependent diabetes, um, there's two types. There's type ones, which all people with type one diabetes are insulin dependent. Yeah. Um, they're diagnosed typically at a young age and essentially their pancreas has stopped producing insulin and insulin is so important. All of us have insulin. Uh, our pancreas produces it. What it does is it takes blood glucose out of our bloodstream. So as we eat carbohydrates and sugars, uh, that, that's really important nutrients and energy for us, but to get it out of the bloodstream, insulin is the, the mechanism that does that. So at a very young age, um, typically many people are diagnosed with what's called type one diabetes, which means they just don't produce that insulin anymore. And they need insulin to survive. Um, at the same time, people with, who are insulin intensive type two, patients uh, evolve in a way where either their body becomes resistant to insulin or stops producing insulin I I enough that they need to survive. So they too need insulin to survive. And what we do is we, we create a Omnipod, as you, you showed the, the users, it's a better way of delivering insulin and an easier way of delivering insulin. It's really important because our mission is to improve the lives of people living with diabetes uh, because we know that living with diabetes can be a burden. And so you see our tagline there, Simplify Life. Many people living with diabetes have to give themselves five, six shots a day. Omnipod delivers a steady dose of insulin and also insulin as you eat and you announce meals so that you don't have to inject yourself at, at all over a three-day period. So it's, um, it's, we think it's, it, it's phenomenal and it really greatly reduces that burden. Oh, and, and it is, I can testify to that, absolutely life-changing. Mm -hmm. uh, so kudos to you guys, because it has made mm -hmm. a huge difference in my life and many others mm -hmm. that I've recommended Omnipod and Dexcom for. Uh, in fact, my doctors joke that uh, I'm kind of like uh, 1.5 because because I'm, I'm type two, but insulin dependent, but not type one. And it's okay, whatever. I know there's no such thing as 1.5, but I kind of get the idea. And as yep. you said, it's a matter of the pancreas. In my case, uh, they tell me not producing enough insulin. So I need the help. And it does make a difference. It, it has been, uh, my, uh, my primary physician years ago said, remember in the good old days when we used to be able to travel? Uh, well, I traveled a lot. Uh, I was away, I think, more than I was home, uh, you know, covering consumer tech for the show all around the world. And they said, you are the perfect candidate for an insulin pump. And I said, oh, I don't want wires and tubes and no, it's not going to happen. I'll just keep doing the shots, you know, and they, no, 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 no. You don't have to have wires and tubes. That's when I first learned years ago about Omnipod, that it's just this simple little device that I fill with insulin, the appropriate amount that I need to put in. It'll hold up to 200 units. See, I've got a lot of info uh, and I need about 150 every three days and then apply it, boom, I'm done. It, then of course my endocrinologist has set the device up, uh, the, uh, the separate uh, PDM, the personal diabetes manager that I have as well. Uh, we'll talk about that because you've got yep. new cool stuff coming as well to mm -hmm. help with this. And it delivers, as you mentioned, Brett, uh, 24 seven, 
a, sim, a simple little dose, uh, basil, I believe it's called, right? The basil, yeah. and and I think in terms of that is it's like reminds me of nasal. You got to breathe all the time, so <laughs> there's a right. basil dose, and then a bolus or a bowl for food, a bolus every time I eat, where I simply add, you know, roughly add some carbs, and put it into the PDM, and it gives me the right amount. And it has not only kept me alive, but it has made a huge difference in my ability to function, to travel, uh, to stay healthy, uh, in spite of the month in the hospital with the Rona. Uh, I, I even kept it there, and I would fill them in the hospital and, and put another one on every three days. So uh, truly, you know, you have a, a good testimonial from me uh, for being able to do that. And I have talked with so many people that have to wear the other kind or have had to wear the other kind with tubes and, and so forth, and they got to change them every three days too. But then when I turn them on to Omnipod, they say, well, why didn't anybody tell me about this? <laughs> yeah. I am. And right. sure enough, they switch as soon as their doctor says, of course you can use that. Uh, that's got to warm the cockles of your heart too, to know that you can help so many people. Yeah, it, it really does, Dave, because, you know, the, the vast majority of, of insulin intensive people are still relying on multiple daily injections or the MDI is the acronym that's typically used in our industry. Yeah. And that, that's confusing because that's hard to do. You know, and as you said, you, you know, you, you can get your insulin that way by giving yourself five or six shots a day. But people forget to do that. They don't want to do that. And, and the more efficient you are with getting the insulin when you need it, which is what Omnipod does so well, you're constantly connected to it. It lasts for three days. You're not missing insulin along the way. That drives better outcomes, and better health outcomes for our users. And, and it's just really important and what makes Omnipod so fantastic without all the tubes and complexity that has historically existed with other insulin pumps. Yeah, it's just like the Dexcom continuous glucose monitor. Right. You know, who wants to do finger pricks five or six times a day. I don't know of anybody that wants to do needles five or six times a day. I was because I was standoffish about a pump thinking wires and tubes and who needs that until I learned about Omnipod. So that made a huge difference and I've never looked back. Uh, and to that extent, it's perfect. And I don't feel a thing. You know, I mean, it's, it's yeah. delivering insulin now. I don't feel it. Uh, when I do a bolus before every meal, I don't feel it. It gets a little beep <laughs> to let me know right. that it's doing the job. And terrific. And I don't watch the spikes that I used to watch and say, oh, my gosh, I didn't go. I didn't do the insulin or I forgot or I didn't do enough. Uh, you know, you would have those issues. And there are so many people I've discovered with diabetes and insulin dependent diabetes, type one or two that there are a lot of us affected by this. That's right. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's millions of, of people just in the U.S. Wow. You know, there's, there's probably, you know, four and a half to five million people who are insulin intensive just in the U.S. alone. Mm. And, and that's a number that's growing every year, of course. And then outside the U.S., of course, it's massive. And it's a very, really underpenetrated market. It, it, in spite of the great technology that you talk about with both Dexcom and Omnipod, so few people still have adopted it for, for a number of reasons. But a lot of that has just been technology has been slow to catch up. And whatever option they were presented with five, six, 20 years ago didn't, didn't meet the needs of reducing the burden. In fact, it might have even added to the burden of living with diabetes because of the complexity of those devices. So yeah. technology has come a long way. And one of the things we need to do is just make people aware of their options so that they can enjoy the, the, the better lifestyle that you do with using these amazing devices that are available today. Well, Brett, what do you think are, are the barriers in general to adoption of diabetes tech? And, and how are you breaking those barriers? Because you are. <laughs> yeah, we are. It, it's taken some time, but I think I can put them all into maybe three categories. Okay. So the first is cost. Obviously, if, if you don't have strong insurance or devices are too expensive, um, you're not going to be willing to adopt those devices. So we've come a long way in cost, driving reimbursement. You know, one, one of the things that we did at Insulet is we recognized that Omnipod should be delivered in the pharmacy, where you get your insulin, where you get your Dexcom, uh, where you get your diabetes supplies is where you should get your Omnipod. And so we when we moved from what's called durable medical equipment, which is this, uh, this um you know, really built for more durable pieces of equipment like the tube pumps that you were talking about yeah. to the pharmacy channel. We reduced cost to less than probably $50 for the vast majority of people per month that use Omnipod. That's their, their copay. So that's that's one. You got to make you got to make it affordable for people. Second one, I, I call it complexity. And it's just about how the technology meets their needs. So, you know, if things like tubes, 
big devices, a lot of complexity to use. Those things are not going to help somebody and are barriers for them to adopt it. So the simplicity of Omnipod, you see our tagline, simplify life. Yeah. That, that we live by that. It's got to be simple to use. If it's not simple, people won't adopt it. So cost, complexity. And the third thing I, I touched on already is awareness. Uh, surprisingly, people are not aware of their options. And, and I think the reason for that is they were presented options years ago when those options were not good. And they were probably one of those first two things, expensive or complex. Yeah. And so we've got you know an awareness battle that, that we need to fight today. We're running TV commercials at Insulet. You know, maybe you've seen an Omnipod commercial on TV. Oh, yeah. We've got to get the word out now that the technology has evolved to, to this point where everybody should be on it. So those three things, cost, complexity, and, and awareness. And certainly regular listeners of our show are very well aware because I talk about using Omnipod, but also because it is the latest tech. And of course, most of our audience obviously is looking for things that are the latest tech. So so we're delighted to help turn some folks on to things like Omnipod because it's appropriate. Uh, you guys recently introduced the Omnipod Dash system. So I'm wondering what's into tomorrow for Insulet and the Omnipod brand? I know that there's some cool things coming down the road that uh, hopefully you can talk about. Yeah, sure. I can talk about it now because we recently got FDA approval for our, our latest generation of Omnipod, and we call it Omnipod 5. Awesome. And it's because it really is the fifth generation of Omnipod. So the Dash product that you held up is our fourth generation. It's the one probably most widely used today in the U.S. We just got FDA approval for 5, Omnipod 5. I'll tell you what, why we're so excited about it. And, and you're, Dave, you're the perfect prop because you're, you're wearing an Omnipod on one arm and you're wearing a Dexcom CGM or, or sensor on your other arm. Yeah. And you, you know this, but the, the complexity with really getting the right amount of insulin is, is what drives outcomes. You've got to have this basal, you know, you've got to have insulin throughout the day. But every time you eat, every time you exercise, every time you're stressed out, almost anything you do affects your blood glucose levels. And so your insulin should adjust accordingly. Well, you can't possibly understand all of that. And it's happening in real time all the time. So what, you, what we need to happen is we need that sensor that's on one of your arms to speak to the Omnipod that's on the <laughs> other one and say, look, here's what Dave's blood glucose levels are doing at this moment. And every five minutes, adjust your insulin to exactly what you need. So and now, whoa, whoa, let, let me make sure I get this right then. So then instead yeah. of just the ba the basal amount that is set by the doctor and he checks it every three months when I visit and so forth, this is doing it on its own. The system right. is actually saying, Dave needs more insulin right now because, well, I, I try to say I don't get stress, I just give it, but maybe there's some stress <laughs> or whatever, yeah. or vice versa. I need less now because I've amazingly done some sort of exercise, like walk to the car or something. Right. Um, so it will automatically do that, and it'll That's do right. that in my smartphone? It, 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 yeah, that's the other thing. So, you know, one of the complexities of living with diabetes is all the stuff you got to carry around. Yes. And so you, you're carrying around with, with your Omnipod that you're wearing, you, you're, you're carrying around a almost a second smartphone yeah. that controls your Omnipod. So with Omnipod 5, we will be moving to a smartphone application, initially with Android and shortly after with, with iPhones. And essentially, you know, you shouldn't have to carry around anything to control your, your Omnipod or your Dexcom. You should just carry around your smartphone that you're carrying around anyway yep. and have an app on that phone that controls those devices. So, you know, everything, again, everything we do is about trying to make the lives of people living with diabetes simpler. And we think Omnipod 5 is a massive leap in innovation because it accomplishes so many of those things. So, you know, it, it, consequently, it drives better outcomes. And okay. we, we had a pivotal trial that showed the highest time and range, which is a, a metric used by people with diabetes that, you know, you don't want to be too low or too high. Right. Uh, Omnipod 5 had tremendous time and range, but also had the lowest incidence of hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is when you go low. Be going low, as you know, it is very dangerous. Oh, yeah. And, and so you don't want to go low. You don't want to go high. You want to stay in range. And you want to be able to live your life the way other people do. You want to eat good food. You want to exercise. You, you want to do everything that people do without having your diabetes suffer from that. And so Omnipod 5 is a massive step for that because of the algorithm now that's on the pod. It's thinking for you. So it's, it's getting those CGM readings every five minutes, and it's automatically adjusting your insulin or you know, stopping your insulin, depending on what's needed, but it's going to drive you to stay in range throughout the day. So we're, we're really excited to get it to the masses. We, uh, we're on a limited release now in the U.S., and we'll be going to a, a full market release 
you know, in the coming months um, so that we can open it up for the masses. And, and certainly our potters, as, as you mentioned, um, they like to be called, are, are anxious to get this latest version. Oh, yeah. I, I could only hope and pray that I'm on the limited release because I know you want me <laughs> talking about it. Uh, and, and this is technology doing the job. This is where we cover health tech a lot. And we cover the fact that there are so many things now today, and you made some great points about some people have, unfortunately, the, the memories from 15, 20 years ago and say, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm fine with needles. No, you're not. <laughs> so right. Stop it. You know, you don't have yeah. to do that. Um, and, and the complexities, you know, oh, wait, did I charge my, my pump because it's all separate? You don't have to mess with any of that. Right. Why, Brett, three days, though? I mean, because that seems to be the case with all pumps, not just Omnipod. Yeah. Uh, is it a yeah. matter of, of you know, uh, a health issue or being able to put enough insulin for some people that three days is really the max unless you, you wear a tank or something? Yeah, a couple of reasons. One, one, as you mentioned, you know, the Omnipod holds about 200 units of insulin. Right. That's enough insulin to, to last most people three days, even people with with type two diabetes, so sometimes need a lot more. Uh, and, the, but the real reason, Dave, is, you know, uh, each of these devices has an insertion as cannula that's inserted under the skin. Right. And that's where the insulin is delivered, is into that, that muscle tissue. And over three days, you know, sometime after three days, you start to, your efficiency in absorbing that insulin becomes less efficient. Uh -huh. And so it's just good practice to every three days rotate that site and so, as you know, we recommend for Omnipod, you know, put it on your right arm, put it on your left arm, put it on your leg, your abdomen, move it around a little bit, you know, every three days, because you'll just get better insulin efficiency when you do that. But that's the rationale for three days. Okay. And, and that does make sense. And clearly, I don't see much of a change in that happening. Uh, and that's why all pumps uh, that I've been made aware of require a change every three days anyway, and a location change. It's just the Omnipod is so much easier to move to a different location. You know, right. I've had other people say, oh, I, I really can't move mine. I mean, I move it a little bit because of that. But, you know, I, I couldn't possibly put it on my stomach or, or right. on a leg. It's just too big. Well, no, you can't. <laughs> but you can with Omnipod. I sound like a commercial. I don't mean to do that. But that's why I started with full disclosure. You know, I've been very happy a paying customer for many years with Omnipod. So uh, looking very much forward to Omnipod 5. When do you anticipate the general release for folks? Well, you know, we said um, when we got FDA approval, we, we said somewhere between three and nine months, we would get to a full market release. So that was earlier in the year. So, you know, we're well into our limited release now. We're, we're just testing a few things, Dave. So, you know, it, it's approved. It's ready to go. But we, we did some really cool things with Omnipod 5 to make it easier to start. And as you know, you know, there can be a lot of forms, paperwork, training, yeah. a, a lot of a lot of hoops you got to jump through just to start on a product like Omnipod. And uh, we wanted to, again, simplify the lives of people living with diabetes by reducing all of that. So we have some really slick onboarding systems where people can self-serve. You know, they should you should be able to get a prescription from your physician, show up to a Walgreens or CVS, pick up your Omnipod and then follow the instructions on the screen and start, especially someone like you, Dave, that's already been using Omnipod. Yeah, you're familiar with the pod. The pod's not really changing. So what, all you've got to understand is how you sync the two. And it's a simple process to do but to sync your Dexcom and your Omnipod. So that we want you to very quickly be able to onboard to start and to self-serve without having to fill out a lot of paperwork and get trained uh, by insulin. So all these systems outside of the new product we're testing in this limited release, and we'll gradually expand it until we get comfortable to just open it up to all comers and uh, open the floodgates, which we're excited to do because we know this is a blockbuster product. That, oh, yeah. Uh, will make a big difference in people's lives. Oh, as well you should be. And and I love you for starting with Android, because I'm an Android. And, oh, is that right? <laughs> and it's usually been the case uh, just over the years with, you know, because there are more Androids out there. You guys are there smart are. enough than there are iPhones. And some oh. iPhonies, as I call them, don't want to believe that. But yeah. I'm glad you're also working on an iPhone or, you know, on an iOS version, of course. Yeah. But the fact that it's already starting with Android, it's like, yes. <laughs> you know, so. Well, you know, but uh, anybody can use it. So we, we yeah. still have a, a backup PDM. So you can use the smartphone app. But if, you, if you're if you tied to your iPhone, as many people are, I use an iPhone, you can still use Omnipod 5. And we'll get iOS, uh, an iOS version out pretty quickly Good. so that you can, you know, discard the PDF, the controller altogether and, and go to full phone control. 
Yeah, in fact, I would I would love on camera to just toss this, but I don't want yeah. to break the control room window or, or yeah. break the PDM while I still need it. Uh, Soon but, enough. Soon enough. Yeah. Exactly. Very much looking forward to it. And of course, for more info, you want to visit Omnipod.com and you'll check out all the cool things that Brett and his team are working on and coming out with as well. O-M-N-I-P-O-D. Omnipod.com. And of course, we'll link you there as all of our guests when you visit intotomorrow.com. Chief Commercial Officer with Insolet Corporation, Brett Christensen. Brett, I'm sorry, Brett Christensen. You just have me so pumped, literally. <laughs> uh, see, you see what I did there? Uh, yeah, that's thank, fun. I got it. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much for joining us on Into Tomorrow. Looking forward to getting you back as no doubt we'll have some updates. I'd love to come back, Dave. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure again. Brett Christensen is the Chief Commercial Officer with Insolet Corporation. Visit Omnipod.com for more. And of course, intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline. Stay tuned. There's much more consumer tech headed your way here on Into Tomorrow, right here on the Advanced Media Network.